Hey everyone, this is Anita with Southern Charm Talking. Um, today's project, I I got these um, shelf sitter eggs from Target, and I painted. I just need to paint the other side, but I figured today I would just show you guys what I plan on doing with the front, or at least one side. Um, I painted them with white chalk, chalk paint. And I'm going to take our, let's see which, okay, this is our retro flower pattern, and this is a 15 by 15, it looks like this. I thought this would be fun, it's springy in that. Um, now, I could do it all in one color, or I, I was thinking of kind of making, taking my painter's tape and, I don't know, kind of masking it to give it, um, what do you call it, like stripes. I could do that. I don't know. Now that I think about it. Ha 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 ha. That might be for later. But I'm going to do, let's see. Can I do both? I won't be able to do both. I will. Ha ha. I have been crafting a lot today, so everything's a mess. So, yeah, I should be able to do both. So now I have to decide, well, I know one I'm going to do in pink. Well, it's sugar plum. Do I want to do the other one in yellow? Because I am going to go back and get a couple more of these. I don't know why I just grabbed two. Because I was thinking of doing like the pastel colors, um, like that, and this. Now where'd my orange go? Hmm. Oh. So I was thinking about doing these colors. I mean, they're they're more like the pastel colors. Hmm. But that's what I'm thinking. So I may do one, I think what I may do, I may do one side a solid. I mean, I have other stencils that I'm going to use on these for different colors. But I definitely want to use two of them in this color. And then um, I'm going to probably use our mandolin lace for another one. And then our new... that came out for that I just got in flower power pattern are these both called flower oh no this one's retro and this one's flower power and this one is uh, only a 12 by 12 so you can see but yeah I wanted to do two of them in this and I'll probably do because I love this right here in the middle I love this these flowers and then I do like the greenery I have a lot of I have some really cool ideas for this one as well so I think I'm gonna do the the sugar plum and I have canary where is my daffodil I have daffodil somewhere that's what happens when you oh so I don't know hmm I'm just going to do canary. Because I think canary looks more pastel. And I'm not a... <laughs> it's funny. Is I'm not a pastel kind of person. I mean, I'm actually really going out of my comfort zone with uh, some of these Easter projects. Because 
I tend to do a lot of my projects in black and white or white and black. Cause, um, and, I, and I will put a little red in there somewhere sometimes or teal because my house colors are black and white, teal and red and um, and some yellow. I'm gonna because I painted these I'm gonna wax them and that's just so that my stencil doesn't peel up the paint and it adhere in the chalk paint um, adheres better to it now I did I painted it and then I did sand it down a little bit with my little sander here just to make sure there was no imperfections and then I'm just going to get my rag in my wax and just run it over it. And this is just in case there's any imperfections in the wood and that that it helps um, the paste seal in. Normally I do this part before I film, but you know, there's a lot of people that don't realize or know to uh, wax or how to. So I wanted to make sure that I was showing you guys all the best possible ways of, of handling and taking care of your, your uh, things that you want to make. All right, now I use, <laughs> I, a lot of people use the Minwax, and I wanted to use that, but I when I went to go buy it two years ago, <laughs> they didn't have it in stock, so this was the, the one that they had. But you want to make sure that it says Paste Wax, because that's what you want to use on your projects with our paste. Um, but I've had this thing for two years, because I've been with Magnolia for two years now. <laughs> and I'm still not anywhere close to being out. Okay. Now. I am going to... And what's nice about the bigger stencils like this one is... I can do two, project, two uh, things at the same time. Now, I've already used this stencil quite a bit. So... Oh! Well, okay. Technical difficulties. Don't know why my camera decided to to topple over. That's weird. I probably didn't have it set up quite quite right. Oh, it could be because I have I have I have my the phone charging that I'm filming this on. So I do apologize that for that, guys. Um, let's see. All right. Nothing like almost getting hit in the head. Actually, let me turn this one. I don't want the same flowers in the same spots. There we go. I like those. I like those amount of flowers. Now, if I had a third one, I could probably put it right there, but that's okay. Oh, I wonder if, I bet you I could do a, the hot mess technique on one of these. You know what, I may do that. Because I can always paint the back and, uh, and do it. Oops, wrong one. I'm 
just dropping everything today. I'm telling you what. You should see me off camera. I thought, well, I'll go, I'll go live and it won't, it won't happen. Who was I kidding? That's when everything happens is once you hit that record button. All right. Just stirring my uh, paste really quick. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to use a, a bigger this is a little bit bigger. Oh, I got a chunk. Sometimes you don't stir it enough and you get chunks. But that's okay because you can just put your water back on it and it will dissolve and be nice and smooth again. And I'm just scraping off the excess to put back into my jar to use later. And I'm just going back over. So now I'm going to peel this up and do our reveal. Uh oh. Oh. I missed the corner. Okay. Well, that's okay. I can go back. But look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It is so gorgeous. I'm going to dry it really fast. Love it. So pretty. All right. Now, should I should I just do this in yellow or should oh gosh, you know I'm just gonna do it in yellow because that's what I originally was going to do when I came on, and then I will paint the backs and I will do another video and we'll and I will do. Uh, hot mess technique but I like I said I did get these I did get these at Target and they were um, like five bucks and I'm hoping hoping to go tomorrow to see if they have any more they were um, oh gosh I think in the craft section they weren't in they weren't in the dollar spot I know that or the yeah the bullseye they weren't there I know that because I actually the main reason I went and I happened on these is because I went looking for the gumball because I wanted to make a gumball machine kind of thing and that so but I did find a a thing on Pinterest on how to make your own um, gumball machine using terracotta pots so that is going to be a, a video I will do once I get a chance to go to the store it's just been the weather here in Tennessee has just been crazy we had we've had uh, ice storms uh, the last two weeks it's just been crazy we're supposed to be in the uh, high 50s, almost high uh, mid 60s next week, I'm hoping. Because today is what, February, uh, what is today's date? Um, February 25th. I know I need to start doing that on my videos so I know what... Uh, day they are <laughs> be right back
But if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I, I wash my, uh, my, uh, stencils right away because that's how I take care of I mean I have stencils that I've used probably 50 times and I've made t-shirts and and stuff like that and haven't had any issues with them staying sticky goodness I just thought of it I have some uh, Easter minis from last year because the minis this year are, are on back order I could probably put something in the middle here like hello spring or happy Easter or something oh, I love these these are so cute oh those are gonna look so cute on my little uh, hutch I just got to fix that part, but that will take like a quick second. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and that, and I will talk to you guys soon for the next project. Make sure that you subscribe to the, uh, my, let me try that again. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the button below so you can, you won't miss any future videos. I haven't, I haven't practiced saying that. It's been a while since I've, uh, started doing back-to-back -back videos <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for tuning in and i will talk to you soon happy chalking